Good afternoon, you're welcome to the Gallery TV News at 4. I'm LJ Chidima, and here are the reports. Uh, Muslim followers around Nigeria gathered today a mass as they celebrate uh, to mark the end of their 30 days Ramadan fast. And the Gallery TV was present at Oboyemi Central Mosque today to hear their views towards the CA at the celebration. Our correspondent's report. I will come back to Ramadan. I will come back Ramadan. Those who are the people 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 who are the and not one ta, don't you back, cool, dear, dear. Don't sit in the common, come on, dear, dear, to tin low column back, cassette in there. Oh, I'll find lamp and latte kill, kijiman, or latte kijidini, or duni. They pay you record while you listen. It took you out on an Ah, all on down go out on a girassini. Tori Bugu can go to money if you want. Niji Janimo Munililo Bugu Ban if you want. So entirely better than the people on that concova, you call Kojakilu. I hear, post if you want love me by the Nilu Maka, all on Fana Lembale. Come on, Jaro, come on, Buru. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, 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 come any alone back on the corner, that woman call me, me on the corner, that woman call me about Luami. We alone don't need Ramadana in Benisi. On a losing Amasi long. Those in Amasi, all can feel Ramadana, you could be called a lecker, ah, come up, pay a big power can. Our time, DJ, Kalima, we pay a big power can, Kalima Sanwarawa. Our country, Jen, what Jen, 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 what don't put down, we are on view one bussy, if you are down one bussy. So, Nitty Ramadan Veco Anania. So, who won't tell us any camera and say no Ramadan and told Bill Ramadan to our Lato Sukan or Wadeco Combank Bato Alota, Toto Marco, and no Taravi Tanki, Kaliman and Fila Luruni. In no country, don't get and get a pay and get a tangent of your assorted Miji. Kaliman, you pay ah, in Yama Jaja Sekuni, and a bit of a can and all of a camera and none of Kuna, Nakuna Kof one Nigeria, very clear on Luriwa, and what alone is Sanu, one of the Tanya and Nosi. I go more Yosaka, then by Yosaka, let us account. I want you, Nilo, I want to Taka, and you only my boss or do I want you. So I'll until I'm a damn corner. I'm a bear about the beer, I'm a dad in Lotanesi. It's your own dog, Potina Mercy. Who go down Mumbai, Nata Simbea, Bowen, and Tissi Sara, Tabatuli Marcelo, Batin, you and Avila, and myself, Batin Boasi, Catuma, Batin Tila Lucrani. Along with Levico, who go by along Becalua, I want our Pella Madonna, Amadano, Ossiti Lotan, along with Lovicaca. So, Katuma say already that Kalima say, I do our bow. The Ramadan teaches us to be honest and to be good. Whatever we are doing, we should do it proper. We should not do bad to the others. But we're supposed to perform it. We cannot be able to do it full. Before, we normally do what we call a lat lat recovery. But we cannot be doing it in the night. We have to manage to do it in the day because of the insecurity. It reduces the uh, crowd. It reduces. Because some of people now was thinking maybe it can be happen. You know, they don't know what can happen. So some people will reduce, not full present. Half people, maybe you're supposed to be 100, maybe you can see 50% or 60%. My advice is to, to give us is to be, be patient and to be loyal to the country and to be praising, to pray for our country to be okay. Because the way country is now, it's not okay. So I advise everybody to be careful. Maybe we are going, or maybe you are inside Pegu, you are moving around. You need to be careful because of insecurity. And uh, still on the news. COP allegation Buhari reject dialogue in favor of intimidation. President Muhammad Buhari, a retired army general, is a veteran of military cops. 
In his old job as a soldier, he participated in some cop d'etat and overthrew a democratically elected president to become a military head of state. Perhaps then, it's understandable that as an elected president, he's paranoid about cops. In his six years in power, Buari has given oxygen to several allegations of cop blood. Yet, there is absolutely no appetite for a return to military rule in Nigeria. And no one wants President Buhari to be deposed in a cop. Of course, there are calls for him to resign or to be impeached. But such calls are permitted within the democratic process. Even though, as we know, Buhari wants to resign and wants to be impeached. It's perfectly legitimate to call for his resignation or impeachment on grounds of poor performance, but not legitimate in democracy. It's a recent call by a crossover lawyer, Chief Robert Clark San, for a state of emergency that would make the 1999 constitution ungovernable and under which all governors must go, all legislators must go. According to Chief Clark in Vidicious Plan, the military could dissolve the current 36 states and replace them with six states and military administration could run the next six states. A General Joshua Dogoyaru, ex-Chief of Defense Staff, is dead. A former Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Joshua Dogoyaru, is dead. He died at the age of 80. According to the family, so General Dogoyaru died at the early hour of, of Thursday at Josh University Teaching Hospital, where he was admitted after a brief illness while his remains have been deposited at a port hospital in Jos Plateau State. One of the former officers of the deceased, Major General Adefiku, retired, who confirmed the death to tri Tribune on online, said he died on Thursday around 3.30 a.m. A soldier administrator born on September 12, 1940, at Vom Plateau State. He attended Boys Secondary School, Gidiri, Nigeria Defense Academy, NDA, Kaduna, 1964 to 1967, Nigeria Army School of Infantry, Jaji, Army Officers Scottish, U.S., Army Corps, Armored Car Troop Leaders Corp, U.K., Command and Staff College, Jaji, Defense Resources Management Corps, U.S.A., National Institute for Policy and Strategic Study, Kuru, Jos. He enlisted in the Nigerian Army in 1964 and was commissioned second lieutenant in the Nigerian Army Armored Corps in, in 1967. He became of office commanding one Red Squadron in 1967 to 1969. Quartermaster General, one infantry division, main Main, 1969-1970, Chief Instructor and Adjustant Resi Training School, 1970-1972, Commanding Officer, 1 Resi Regiment, 1972-1976, Principal Staff Office Headquarters and Nigerian Army Armored Corps, 1976-1977. On business news, FG6 revenue growth from Bitmen, Barrett and Gold. As revenue from oil nose dives following in incessant global price fluctuation, the federal government is now channeling effort to the development of minerals in the mines and steel industries to share up foreign exchange earnings. Officials of the Federal Ministry of Mines and Steel Development said on Wednesday that while there have been concreted efforts to develop various minerals in the sector, much emphasis has been placed recently on the development of bitumen, barite, and gold. They told our correspondents in Abuja that the government, through the Mines and Steel Ministry, was striving to diversify the Nigerian economy away from oil as major foreign exchange earners for Nigeria. They also confirmed that large quantities of gold have been discovered in various locations in Zamfara and Ogun State. Asked if the government have initiated program to explore the minerals and boost revenue now that the country's income has plugged. The special assistant on media to the Minister of Mines and Steel Development, Ayodeji Adeyemi, replied in affirmative. He said, Indeed, the ministry have a mandate to generate revenue and diversify the, company, the economy through the mining sector. On foreign news, fearing Indian like coronavirus collapse, Kenya scrambled for oxygen. At the peak of Kenya's third wave of COVID-19 in March, hospitals buckling under the strain of the virus saw their oxygen reserves fizzle out. Since then, they have been scrambling to increase capacity of the life-saving element, fearing the nightmare scenario currently unfolding in India 
due to the oxygen shortages. On the roof of the Metropolitan Hospital, a 150-bed private institution that target the middle class, a brand new oxygen production unit has just been installed and is capable of producing up to 600 liters of gas per minute. Metropolitan CEO Kenyan J. Gabambe said the hospital accelerated plans to produce its own oxygen after supplies were squeezed to the limit during the height of the third wave, found by the variant of the coronavirus first detected in Britain and South Africa. On sports news, Serena lose 100th career match. Serena Williams play, playing the 100th. 100th WTA match of her career crushed out of the Italian Open on Wednesday with a second round defeat to Argentina Nadia Podosaka weeks before her beat to make history at Roland Garros. Williams 39 lost 7 to 6, 8 over, eight over 6, 7 to 5 on her return after nearly three months away to a player. 15 years her junior who was a surprise semi finalist at last year's Roland Garros. You know it's tough to have a first match on clay, said Williams, who had won 73 WTA title over the past two decades. It was definitely kind of good to go to the distance and to try to be out there, but clearly I can do Legion better. Maybe I do need a few more matches, so I am going to try to figure out what will with my match with my coach and my team and see what we could like want to do, like to do. Williams, a four-time Roman winner and 23-time Grand Slam champion, had not played since her semi-final defeat to Japan Nomi Oscar in the Australian Open this year. And this 80th seed found its top going, losing in just under two hours to the 44th rank Argentine. And that's all we can take on the Gallery TV News at 4. For more information, do follow us via social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'm Elege Chidima. Do enjoy the rest of the day. In life... You can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out your withdrawal. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man has just been kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pin. Will he succeed? Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank.